are open air cases or more traditional closed cases better for cooling? Well, it depends. No hot takes here. But when it comes to water cooling in particular, us as a water cooling company like to use open air cases because we primarily use it as an open air test bench to isolate the thermal performance of water blocks, for example. But there are issues with open air cases. For example, the lackluster direct airflow over components such as VRMs on your motherboard and the VRAMs on the back of the GPU can be sacrificed because in an open air test bench, there's something called omnidirectional airflow. That means the fans that you have in your PC are pulling air from the path of least resistance. And sometimes that means diverting airflow away from heat generating components such as VRMs and VRAM, for example. And in the case of water cooling, it might be difficult to put water blocks on all of these components. And we've seen water cooling manufacturers tackle this problem by manufacturing mono blocks, for example, or VRM heat sinks, or even water blocks for SSDs. But in the case of open air test benches, there might be an impact to performance when you're not optimally cooling the VRMs on your motherboard because that can affect the power delivery going to your CPU. And that's why if you have a gaming workload or a light productivity workload, it might not affect your performance too much. And another reason open air test benches are used even though they have a lack of direct airflow is because of aesthetics. I mean, we use it just to showcase our products, but in the case of direct airflow in a more workstation environment or where you're doing a hardcore of editing work and gameplay or streaming, it might make sense to have a more closed system where you can direct airflow to more heat generating parts because you'll have better long-term performance. And make sure you click the plus for more tech and water cooling content. Peace.